So we have the corroborated themes from last month and quite a few hits. Had one that was kind of like you guys were close on it. Um, and then these were your individual uh, sessions where there wasn't corroboration, but there was a lot of matching news, a couple that seemed like they're pretty close. And we're going to get into it here. So uh, the migrant border violence, we had a really uh, big incident with this, uh, especially here with the sketches that Edward and Dick drew with the crowds of people kind of running at the gate. And so uh, I got a nice little gif here of the actual footage here. But um, yeah, it was over 100 migrants and they broke through the razor wire, knocking down guards as the uh, as they were crossing the El Paso border. So we've got a serious situation on our hands down there and uh, this kind of reflects. But uh, again, yeah, these were these were really good hits from our viewers, uh, given the situation and what actually happened this month. So the military conflict escalation that's going on, there was uh, there was some matching news for that. So there was quite a few stories to draw from, but um, this one really resonated really strong for me for the conflict resolution. And this is where Russia said they're basically ready for nuclear war. Um, that's a bit chilling, um, but again, that, that really speaks to the escalation that you guys were getting in your sessions. So this was the cyber attack. Um, so I think, yeah, uh, let's see, Dick, you had, you, you specifically named uh, X, um, but we actually had Facebook and Instagram that went out, but it's social media. So that's why I wanted to say this is a really close one. And Edward, you had uh, power out uh, with the city going dark. And I didn't really find anything that referenced that directly happened, but there was a news story out that said uh, that's a risk. So there was news about it, but it wasn't an actual incident. So, um, so here's the the Instagram news story. And then this is cyber threat to US power grids escalating as the election approaches. So <clears throat> shaky financial market. Um, so you guys had, you know, a lot of data on the shaky financial market. Um, so we did have the markets increasing, you know, the NASDAQ and the Dow were going up. Uh, they are shaky though. I mean, you're, you're seeing quite a bit of fluctuation here, but we also have news out about these billionaires and the, and these really rich folks that are power brokers selling off a bunch of their stocks, indicating that there may be something big coming. So, um, I think this was a, a hit for you guys kind of describing, like we're getting mixed signals here with the market and that to me is shaky. So, uh, nice work. This one was uh, really interesting. So you guys uh, had a vehicle crash. So Edward specifically said NASCAR and Naeem had these two in a head-on collision. And lo and behold, um, there was a final stage crash that sidelined uh, Joey uh, Logano at Phoenix. And I did a screen grab of the video where this green car uh, had spun around. And this is right before these two front impacted. So if you look at Naeem's sketch um, and, and look at that. So... It is NASCAR, and you had a, an impact similar to what Naeem drew, so uh, I want to call that one a hit, too. We had this large vehicle destroyed. Uh, Daz named it, and Edward specifically said, is this a U-Haul? And he's got the fire coming out. And out in California, somebody stole a U-Haul from a family with all their stuff in it, and uh, when they crashed it, they set it on fire. Um, so these people lost all their belongings, so <laughs> that's pretty... Oddly specific there, nice viewing guys, but you got it. Um, this earth shaking event, um, I love for you guys to get hits, but I'm really glad that this one hasn't come to fruition because <laughs> this one was kind of ominous and scary. Um, I don't know if you had anything that you think this fits, uh, Daz or Dick, but I didn't find any news stories that really uh, stuck out at me like, hey, this is it. So I'm gonna say no feedback yet. <clears throat> Uh, ship attacked and sank. Um, what do you know? Uh, we had this, um, the Houthi uh, attacked a ship that sank, and here's a picture of it going down. And then also, Naeem had people getting rescued from the water. Um, the world's largest cruise ship rescued 14 people that were stranded at sea, and they were out, out there for eight days. Um, so they were ha hanging onto the, the remains of their ship, and so this cruise ship rescued them. So that was a good hit for both of you guys. Uh, the, your Bitcoin predictions kind of said that uh, things were kind of shaky and and um, that's kind of what happened here. We had it go slightly up and, and shaky. So I want to call that one a hit too. 
Uh, Daz, you had COVID in the news, um, but nothing really specific, um, which uh, this was interesting. COVID was in the news and it wasn't quite what, what we would expect with all the crazy bad stuff happening. And this is them saying, hey, we can we could treat it like the flu. And if only we could send this back in time and tell ourselves like, hey, don't <laughs> don't destroy the economy and completely transform your lives over this because it's the flu. But anyway, uh, lots of news stories about COVID, treat it like the flu now. Here's a guide. Um, yeah, what do you know? Lost plane found. Um, they think they found Amelia Hart, Earhart's plane. And uh, it's all over the news uh, this month. So uh, nice hit there, Daz. <clears throat> Egypt staying out of the conflict. Uh, there was a news story about how the uh, UN chief is, uh, he's all upset that uh, Israel was blocking aid at their border um, from going in. So this is... Um, Pretty good view in there, Derek. Small mummies found. I love these oddly specific ones. I mean, who could have predicted this, right? Except for a remote viewer, Derek. Bizarre three-fingered alien mummies um, with different unique DNA. And look at how small it is. So it's just like he said, small. Um, yeah, so super oddly specific. And Derek called it last month. And here it was in March. <clears throat> protesting truckers. Um, actually, I didn't find a hit for this one. Um, there was a lot of news about pro protesting truckers, like possibly in that last month, they were talking about boycotting New York, but uh, I didn't really see anything for this month. So um, I didn't have any feedback for that one. Um, there was a bill, this one I marked as close. Uh, you had a bill to limit ammo falling short. Um, the only thing I saw was that Congress uh, is failing to act and the military is running out of ammunition and so is Ukraine. So it's an ammunition limitation story tying to Congress, but it's not the Second Amendment. So I, I said this one was one of the close ones, like close but no cigar. Scotland Yard new info. Um, you had controversy surrounding Scotland Yard and they uh, laid off 60 murder detectives to save millions of, uh, of, of pounds. So. There was a story that uh, kind of ties controversy to Scotland Yard. And from what I saw in the history books, the female uh, Scotland Yard police used to wear hats just like this. So nice work there, Derek. Um, <laughs> this one was really interesting too. Dick had people fighting a blob. I didn't know this. Um, and I, maybe you didn't know this yet either, Dick, but the blob is a, a slang term referring to foreign policy. Um, uh, particularly with the U.S. and the West. But um, so there was a story. This was actually from February, but it's there's stuff going on right now. And this is from Asia Times, and they're trying to say saving America's future from the blob. So and I think, Dick, when you did this, you kind of said it felt like it wasn't real. It might. So I think you might have been getting a metaphor. Um, so yeah. there is kind of this news around the blob and, and it's but it's not a real blob. It's the slang term. So. Yeah, That's they just should... they just started using that term in the past couple of weeks. Yeah. And what does that it, stand it, for? Well, it actually came from one of Obama's advisors who started it, I think, but it's been revived in the last couple of weeks. So yeah. I'm sorry, Derek. What, what was that? It's, what is the what does that refer to? It's supposed to be the deep state, the the entrenched mm. bureaucrats that run things behind the scenes without being elected. And I think it uh, it specifically applies to foreign policymakers, um, at least from what I was reading. But I, I I'm not an expert, and I was just doing some cursory reading, going through all this. But I, a couple of news stories that seem to pertain to the foreign policy deep state. Yeah. <clears throat> so, UAP report. Uh, guess what? The Pentagon came out with a UFO report um, in March here. So, uh, very nice job there, Dick. Trump health issue. Um, I think this one's like a made up one, but there is a bunch of news where people are questioning Trump's mental health. A uh, lot of lot of work being done, try to keep him off the ballot and undermine anything that uh, that can help him get elected again. So, um, but it's it's health, it's Trump health. So and it's in the news. So this is a hit. <clears throat> Ukraine political scandal. Um, how deep does the corruption go in Ukraine? This was uh, all in the news here from March. So let's see, this one was from March 6th, it looks like. So yeah, there's... So mother figure passes. I didn't, I counted this one as close, but um, 
So I didn't find anybody that like was a mother figure that passed. But what did come out this month is that Princess Kate has cancer as a diagnosis. So um, a lot of, of our subscribers had commented on that in the comments, like, hey, maybe this is it. Um, so I, I wanted to put this in here for folks' consideration. But um, yeah, so this is, I think, one of the close ones, but maybe we'll have to wait for feedback. Power plant problem. Um, Edward had a power plant uh, with a radiation warning. And in the news this month, they're talking about concerns still over Fukushima, even though it's 13 years after the disaster. As you can see, this came out March 11th. So it's in the news and it's about radiation, about a power plant. So uh, very relevant to what Edward got. <clears throat> and this one is another oddly super specific one. These are really rare. Uh, Earth hit by radiation from the double X class flare. Uh, so, and Edward, you seem to be tuned into the sun, uh, man. So nice work there. Rocket explosion, also Edward. Um, Space One rocket explodes soon after launch in Japan. So uh, again, nice hit. Hostage situation with a knife. Uh, there's actually two stories that I found where people were taken at knife points. So here's the two stories. And it's a match for what Naeem drew here. A national security brief uh, with specifically saying an unprecedented uh, moment. And that's what Naeem said. And that's what came out of the uh, um, State of the Union. And uh, that's all I have for um, your guys' hits. Uh, any um, comments or feedback? Well, the best one was the uh, border uh, assault. Yeah, pretty good stuff. That one in the mummies. I really like those oddly specific ones. Yeah. The, like, the odd oh, one. that happens every month. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that happens all the time. <laughs> So yeah, good work, guys. Uh, that's why we call you the Rockstar Remote Viewing Team. So, all right. So uh, please join us for the uh, April World events here uh, that'll be coming out, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody.